Hey everyone, it's TB Shores. It is July the 13th, 2015. Uh, I just wanted to do, hopefully, a quick video about uh, a vision and a word that the Lord gave me uh, with the vision. Um, this vision is kind of awkward to describe, but it was basically... Um, it was a closed vision. My eyes were closed, and I was kind of half half asleep, half awake, and uh, I just saw it was like a, a mass or a cluster of, of naked people, naked bodies, and they were just kind of uh, wrapped. Uh, around each other and, and blended together, just kind of mingling and mulling about uh, aimlessly, sort of. Um, like, for lack of a better way to describe it, like a, like a cluster of worms, how they would just kind of mull in and out and, and wind around each other. Uh, they were like groping at one another and even maybe licking each other. It, it was just really vulgar, I guess is, is a good way to describe it. Um, but the Lord gave me a word to go with it, and the word was cesspool. Now, I did look that up, and right here we see that cesspool means... A disgusting or corrupt place, a filthy, evil, or corrupt place or state. Now, as soon as I received this from the Lord, it was as if he was giving me the understanding that this is how he sees the United States. This vision that he gave me and this word, cesspool, is how the Lord sees the United States. Of course, the scripture he has given me here is Isaiah 47. We're going to start with verse 3. And then, of course, we're going to Revelations 18, 2 through 5. Um, but one other thing I wanted to point out. Uh, I don't normally get on Facebook first thing in the morning. Um, I do go to Facebook. I have a, a lot of people on my Facebook that are followers of Jesus. And they put up a lot of good articles and uh, videos. So I always check those out at some point through the day to um, see if there's anything that I need to be made aware of or, or whatever. Something that confirms something the Lord is, is showing me or teaching me. But this morning I went to Facebook first. And that's something I don't usually do. And as quick as I got there, I understood why I was there. Because a cousin of mine, his wife, had made a comment on one of my aunt's um, things she had posted. But what my cousin's wife had written, the comment she had wrote, was this. America has stepped, oh, excuse me, has slipped into a cesspool of sin. And that right there was the Lord confirming to me what he had shown me last night, and that I was understanding him correctly, that this was was about the United States. It was about America. Um, I'm going to be reading first from Isaiah 47. I want you to note that the subtitle, well, I'm in the King James Study Bible. Subtitle here is Judgment Upon Babylon. Of course, most of us know and understand that Babylon is, in this day, is the United States. We're going to start with verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Okay, that right there is speaking to what the vision was about. It was about the people in this country. And their nakedness being uncovered. Uh, it's exposed. They're unashamed. And 
it's become a cesspool, a stench, a disgust to the Lord. All right, we're going to pick back up here. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of child, of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient hast thou upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke and thou shalt and thou sayest i shall be a lady forever so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart neither didst remember the latter end of it therefore hear now this thou that art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall sit, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in thy perfection, excuse me, in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. And thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. I'm going to stop right there, but I would encourage you to go read all of chapter 47 of Isaiah. There was something I wanted to point out as well um, in Revelation 18. Revelation, excuse me, 18. Here is where we see mention that Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. This right here is about the, the increase of unclean spirits, the increase of the darkness. It's, a, it's about the increase in the level of evil and filth within the country. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice of heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may not, that ye that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Now I'm going to stop right there. We, we touched on these scriptures before, but I wanted to point out how we see the increase of the evil here. And that, that's what this is about. The increase of the cesspool is about 
filth and the evil and the corruptness within the within the country and how it has reached into the heavens um i remember the day that the supreme court ruling come down on the same sex marriage i had been making some videos and as quick as i got done and i got on the internet it was the first thing in my face and god very clearly in my spirit said that the stench had reached his nostrils i believe that's what this is speaking of here but the lord seems to keep pointing me back to um things like revelation 18 the iniquities of this country where this country stands um i know in the last video the lord had told me i am coming and the earth will mourn and he had me to cover scripture that spoke of the morning that was coming upon this earth. Um, the Lord is trying to make sure that people understand why what is coming has been brought upon this country and upon this world. He wants people to understand the reason for his doing this. That's why I feel that's why he keeps taking me back to these type of things to to bring out in these videos. It's it's the same reason why he had me to do all the videos on the World Trade Center and how Satan, you could see Satan had left his mark on so many things just within that area. And that's, that's not even getting into all the other things in the world that Satan ha has made his mark on. But the Lord is wanting people to understand that it is the, the evil and the wickedness and the corruption that is bringing about what's fixing to come. You know, if you go back and read the Old Testament, you can clearly see that It, w it was a constant thing. The people kept going back to to the pagan gods and to idol worship and turning away from the true God. And it always brought punishment. Um, we look at the days of Noah. You know, Scripture tells us that as in the days of Noah, so shall the, the coming of the Son of Man be. And I believe that June 26, when that rainbow became the symbol, symbol of abomination, they defiled God's rainbow. That was the, the marker, one of the markers for the Lord. And the level had, had reached a new high. The level of sin in this country had reached a new high. I'm going to cut this off here. I just wanted to share what the Lord had given me. He wants it understood. Why what is coming must come. It's all about reaching that level of wickedness within the land. Just as we saw in the days of Noah. Just as we saw with Sodom and Gomorrah. If you don't know Jesus... I pray that that you would see that he's holding his hands out for you. That he wants you to turn to him so that you don't have to endure what's coming. And those of us that do know Jesus, we need to be lifting up the lost souls in this world. And we need to be asking the Lord to search our hearts each day that our hearts may be where he would have them to be 
I love you all. Bye-bye.